Janet Yellen has done a spectacular job, in the words of President Trump. But she will still be stepping down from the most powerful role in global finance in six weeks in spite of serving just a single term as Federal Reserve Chairman. Yellen will be remembered for leading the drive for more normal interest rates, ending the era of zero borrowing costs. If Yellen had remained in office, the Fed would doubtless continue to tighten monetary policy. Trump might not have replaced a fierce intellectual like Yellen with a former banker, unless he wanted a less astringent approach. The obvious thing to do is to cut a better deals with the mobile operators EE, Vodafone and O2. We saw the power network providers exercise over the market when they brought phones for you crashing down in 2014. He should address this directly, rather than spouting gobledygook about the complexity and capital intensity of his company's mobile offer.
The European Central Bank surprised everyone with its aggressive money printing. But it may have gone too far when, as part of its bond buying program, it bought into the pound 705 million of bonds issued by the South African led consumer group Steinhoff. Red faces all around for the burgers of Frankfurt.